Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is what surprise is right around the corner. So what can we expect uh, that we're not expecting? <laughs> you know, expect the unexpected, right? What kind of surprise is coming in for us? What can we uh, maybe prepare ourselves for a little bit? Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. You ready? All right. Today we have pile one with so beautiful. You are so beautiful. And pile two with adventure. All right. Let's see what's coming in. Pile three with incredible because my viewers are incredible. And pile four, celebrate. What can we, uh, what can we celebrate? What can we be happy for? So hopefully those words all correlate with the, <laughs> with the readings, but I don't know because I haven't done them yet. So anyway, pick your pile. Pick the one you are most attracted to, most drawn to, and uh, we'll see what's coming in. Okay, my beautiful friends, if you chose pile one, then this one's going to be your reading. So let's, uh, let's see. Strength, King of Cups, Chariot, Page of Cups, the Sun. Oh. <sighs> All right. It looks like your Leo's coming in <laughs> for some of you. Your Leo, who is going to be your King of Cups, somebody who is full of love somebody who just really cares about the people in their in their circle in their family somebody who's very generous looks like he might be coming in to uh, offer you his cup of love maybe is a uh, maybe it's an apology with the strength card, it does make me feel like this could be somebody returning, maybe to offer you an apology or to have a second chance here. But it doesn't have to be that. Like I said, that card could just re represent a Leo. But I'm kind of feeling like you might need to have a little bit of strength here to see you through to this. Whatever this is, this is happening very quickly. It's coming in very very soon like soon so when I say right around the corner like it's right around the corner like any day any moment um, you could be hearing from your king of cups like I said if this is somebody who's already in your energy then they could be offering you something that's going to make you happy that's going to put a smile on your face you know whether it is an apology because maybe you you know got in an argument or it could be just you know a nice little gesture. You know, here, I brought you home your favorite candy bar today. Something really sweet. But it feels like there's a lot of happiness coming in for you. So, you know, whether you have to be strong or whether this is uh, something that you've wanted or, or something that makes you happy, the, the, the sun is going to shine for you. It's, it's going to make you... Um, very happy in the near, very near future. So a lot of happiness coming in, which is always really beautiful, right? All right, let's get some more cards. You need to defend yourself. And new opportunities, possibilities, and paths that are opening up. All right. Well, what I'm getting from you need to defend yourself is, you know, it's tying in with that strength card. It's kind of, if kind of, um, it's leading me to believe that somebody might be coming back 
you know, to, to fix things. Or, you know, if you've had an, um, if you had an argument with somebody, they're coming in to fix things because, uh, but uh, not because, uh, <laughs> I was trying to gather my thoughts, sorry. But there's still a, an element of you having to defend yourself. You having to say, well, here's my point of view. This is how I feel. So I need things to to be different. Or I need, you know, I need you to change. Or I need things to, you know, I need you to compromise. And meet me in the middle here because this is how I feel. So it's not so much like you have to defend yourself. Like I don't feel like somebody's attacking you. But I feel like you still have to voice your feelings. Kind of stand up for yourself a little bit. Stand up for what you want in this relationship. But with the new opportunities and new possibilities, like this could go anywhere you want it to go. This is beautiful. So you're going to have a chance to... to Either do something again, do something better, do something different. There's so many different possibilities here for you. Like you're going to, like things are going to open up. Like your, I feel like your life is going to open up a little bit here. It's not going to be so closed. So maybe some adventure coming in. All right. What else we got? Starting fresh, a wonderful new beginning is blossoming in my life. There you go. You got something brand new here. New possibility, right? Something brand new. So it, starting fresh could also be somebody coming back. We're going to start with a clean slate. Or even just somebody apologizing. Maybe not necessarily coming back, but just apologizing. And we're going to start fresh. We're going to be like, okay, I can forgive you for that. Let's uh, move on and be happy. Oh, that's wonderful news. Kali Ma, facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So, all right, so maybe somebody's learned a lesson here, whether it be you or your person. And now it's like, okay, we, we overcame that. Like we found a way. We, we, came, we found a way to accomplish that, to succeed. And now we're going to just take off and soar and find so much happiness and love. kind of love that backstabbing heartbreak and pain separation and loss deception and lies and shocking attack all right even though we have the shield here, I kind of don't, I kind of don't feel that. I kind of feel like you need, you are like, look, look at the sun. All right. And the chariot, like this is all really great things. So I don't think somebody's coming in to backstab you. I feel like though, that that might be your fear facing your fear here. Kali Ma is here to help you face this fear, this fear of being backstabbed, this fear of having your heart broken, right? Fear of somebody's lying to you. Somebody, it's, you fear that this person's not trustworthy, right? So I think that's why they're bringing it up because I think it's a fear. So Kali Ma is here to, to help you through that fear, to start fresh, you have new possibilities here and you are going to get your son. So I feel like 
this person's not, I feel like this person's trustworthy. I feel like if they're coming in with some kind of an apology or some kind of love offer that you can really take it at face value, that it's worth it. All right, so conquer that fear of yours. Yeah, you're going to have to take it day by day. This is attraction, which means take time to smell the roses, right? Like, enjoy the journey. You don't have to rush it. You, you can take it day by day. You could take it moment by moment until you feel more com comfortable letting that shield down, right? Letting your guard down a little bit. So this is just saying it's okay. Just see what happens. See how it unfolds. You don't have to dive in. Like nobody's rushing you to the altar. You could do what you want. Take it day by day. See what happens. All right. Lizard spirit. Dream the world into being. So, you know, I always say you can, we create our own reality, right? So that's what this card is all about is, is if you want happiness, and if you want happiness with this King of Cups, then you can have it. It's dream it into reality. Dream the world into being. Your thoughts are who you are and what is. Your thoughts are your reality. So if you're having negative thoughts, you need to change that perspective or find a way to let them go, right? So dream what you want into your reality. Think what you want. Think, think you want love. Think you feel love. Think you are love. And you'll have the love, right? Feel abundant. If you feel abundant, you're going to have lots of things to be happy for. I don't know what they're barking at. Hang on. All right. Sorry about that. <clears throat> they're not going to stop barking. So I'm just going to go on. We're almost done with this reading anyway. So let's get your Akashic Tarot card. Oh, they are annoying. All right, two of scrolls, two worlds. All right, so th what this card means is that uh, there might be some kind of conflict in your life where uh, like what your outer world needs, the physical world needs from you versus what you want spiritually. So in other words, like for an example, Say you have to work a nine to five to put your money on the table, to put food on the table, right? To pay your bills. You don't have a choice. You have to work in order to survive. But what your spirit wants is like, you really want to be an artist. You want to stay home and paint all day, or you want to go out and paint landscapes and animals or, you know, or maybe you want to be a wildlife photographer or something like that. Like your spirit wants something different than what your physical world dictates that you do. So you have this inner conflict. So what this card is saying is that you have to find a balance. You have to, to realize that your spiritual self is in everything that you do. So you got to find a way to, to bring that spiritual world into your physical reality and, and what you have to do. So whether that's changing your perspective or compromising in some way uh, you know and if you can't find a way well then maybe you got to switch things up and do things a little differently but it's about you know bringing your spiritual self into your reality and every little thing you do you know and that's not always easy but I don't know why they're bringing that up because this really felt like a love read but um I, I think they want you to just choose to be happy. Choose your son. 
believe the best in people. You know, if they pull, they prove you wrong, they prove you wrong. It'll be a lesson for you, one that you probably don't want to learn, but it, it actually would bump you up spiritually if you did have to learn a lesson. Unfortunately, that's the way it works. Um, but, but, you know, people can surprise you. Like you. Because if you believe the best in people, then they want to show you the best. You're attracting that. You're vibrating with that. So again, create your reality here. Believe that you have uh, something uh, amazing in your life and you will have something amazing in your life. All right, let me pull you some charms. So I guess the surprise is that you're going to be really, really happy very soon. You have uh, some kind of success coming your way some kind of new opportunity here and it could very well be love all right but you gotta figure out a way to cut ties with negative thoughts negative beliefs with your fears you got the fan so things are heating up so what does that mean it means that like something's about to come to fruition like it's like your pot's about to boil so something's going to happen here like it's going to happen soon you have a birthday here maybe that you're going to be celebrating with somebody soon um, it doesn't necessarily have to be yours but it could be now I, I threw a bunch of um, initials in my charm bag by accident instead of putting them away in the charm bag so you did get the letter C I don't know if that means anything to you, but I wanted to show you it, but I'm not putting it down because I'm putting it in my initial bag. But uh, that did come out. It wasn't meant to, but it did. But there is something that's transforming here. And I think now you have a, a fresh perspective on it. Like I think you see, you're seeing things maybe a little bit differently, a little more clearly. You did get the wrench. So somebody could be coming in to apologize to fix things. All right, so that is what I have for you, Pio One. I hope it helped you in some way, and I hope you um, have a beautiful fresh start here that makes you so very happy, and that would be a beautiful surprise. And until next time, you know, love and light. Hi, Pile Two. If you chose adventure, then this one is your reading. Let's see what comes out for you. Eight of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Hermit, Four of Wands, and King of Wands. All right, so right off the bat with the Eight of Pentacles, I'm going to work, right? I'm going to money. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that. But let, let's, let's say that it is for right this second um, because that's where I went right away. So... If you're feeling a little stuck at work or looking for answers, wondering what you should do, I think you're going to get a fresh perspective here. I think something's going to happen where you're going to understand uh, why you got to do something or why you got to do something differently. I do feel like there's some kind of a commitment coming in with the Four of Wands. I do think it's a reason to celebrate. I do think that you're going to be very happy with what's to come maybe not immediately right because you're in stuck energy so it might not be immediate but i feel like in the long run you're going to be happy and i like think that king of wands is you like making your dreams come true you figuring things out you uh maybe even stepping up and becoming some kind of a leader so uh, a promotion or raise could be in in store for you or or just that you're setting good examples for for the for your coworkers, like your, you know, your natural abilities are leading you to lead people. You know, you could be some kind of a mentor. But I feel like you're like in the process of building something solid, something, 
stable for yourself, something long term. Because you're not afraid to work for it. Um, but there's, you know, I do feel like there's something like in your current situation that m- might need to change a little bit. Might mean to, to spice things up or, I don't know, just, it, it feels like a change up is needed. I don't know. Let's get some more cards. Hard work ahead. Okay. And new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. So the sunrise, which, you know, it reminds me of the sun, right? It's beautiful. It's happiness. So it might take some work. You might be having to work a little harder in the upcoming months. Like I said, you could be stepping up into a leadership role, right? That, that might require a little more hard work. And you might be unsure if it's what you want at first, but I think that once you commit to it, you're, it, it's a reason to celebrate. It's a reason to celebrate just because if somebody's offering you a promotion or a raise, like you're, you, you know, somebody thinks you're worthy of it. So that's a reason to celebrate right there. But I do think something different's happening. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be at work. It could be in a relationship. Where, you know, you've worked hard at something, you've, you know, maybe been working towards marriage, uh, some kind of commitment, and uh, maybe you're not 100% sure of why it's taking so long or if this is really, truly what you want, but you will eventually have a reason to celebrate here with so you could take it a lot of different ways, but I'm, I'm more focused on the work for some reason. I kind of feel like there's some kind of a change in the work environment happening. Manifesting, my dreams are coming true. Well, see, we knew it was a reason to celebrate. We knew it was going to be happy for you. So, uh, yeah, you're getting what you want. It might take a little bit of hard work, but I don't, I don't think it's anything you're not capable of. I think you're a hard worker in general anyway. Um, I, I think you're going to make the magic happen here. You're going to manifest what, exactly what you want in life. Lady Portia, divine order, do what feels right, an important lesson is unfolding. Okay, so again, trust your intuition, do what feels right. You know, this, there might be like a little bit of a conflict here within, like not knowing what to do and, and what direction to go in, but maybe this is teaching a lesson on how to become a leader. How to be, how to make decisive decisions, um, but the, you know there's some kind of a lesson here, and uh, it's going to pay off for you in the long run. So let's uh, just trust how we feel and go with our gut. Old school, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. See, that's that hangman and that hermit energy, right? More so the hangman where we're looking at things and we're, we're, we're seeing how things went in the past and maybe there was like uh, something that you were, you know, maybe you you feel embarrassed by, or you felt like you made a mistake or some, or some kind of a regret that you keep replaying over and over in your head. Um, that does keep you stuck. That does keep you from manifesting what you want. So we got to get rid of that, right? We have to, we have to believe that we're amazing, that we can overcome anything. And that embarrassment is, is just something that we make up in our head, (laughs) you know? So 
um, get rid of those old school thoughts, right? And, and have this new perspective and see your life unfolding the way that you want it to because I really do think it's happening. I do think it's happening for you. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. <laughs> they're, they're coming to get me. Like I locked myself in the room and they're, they're coming to get me. I don't know why. <laughs> they won't stop today. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So if you had a question of wh whether somebody in your life is your soulmate, they're saying, yeah, they are. You know it. So if this is a question of whether you should marry somebody or not, they're saying it is your soulmate. It's okay. Right? Maybe there maybe you have this old school traditional way of wanting things done. And uh they're saying you need to change your perspective. It's okay to do things differently in today's age. You, you just got to trust your feelings basically and go do whatever feels right. Again, trust trust you. Trust you. Mouse spirit. Tend to the small things. So, okay, so basically they're saying it's okay to take baby steps. You know, just a lot of little things add up to a big thing. We don't have to keep struggling to do big things all the time. We don't need all the grand gestures. You know, the, the everyday little gestures like somebody opening the door for you, somebody um, bringing you a little bit, bitty surprise, somebody... Uh, doing something nice for you, somebody washing your dishes, or those little things are so amazing, and they add up. It doesn't always have to be this great big grand gesture all the time. So it's telling you to tend to the small things. So tweak the small things in your life, right? Whatever they are. That will make a big difference for you in some way. So, like, if it's having to do with work, you know, maybe you um, have to change one thing in your daily routine, and it'll really make it better for everyone if you just do this one thing different. So, tend to the small things. That's what they want you to focus on right now. All right, let's get your Akashic Record card. Oh, those dogs today are making me crazy. Oof, lightning bolt. All right, so that just means that there's a change, that, 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 that something's coming in pretty quickly, and this is what surprises are around the corner, right? So it's, it could be a time of loss or disappointment, right? Um... You know, this could be, this could signify you being disappointed in something. Maybe um, you didn't get a career opportunity or maybe a, a romantic relationship that you, you know, wanted to get in. It wasn't reciprocated or something like that. I, I think now's the time to accept the situation for what it is and, and not fight it. I feel like there is a benefit coming to you. And sometimes that requires an ending to bring forth a new beginning. So, uh, you know, sometimes the storm comes in to cleanse. Like sometimes, you know, they burn the forest on purpose to get rid of some stuff so things can grow anew, right? So I feel like it's a cleansing for you right now. I feel like something has to change or something is changing you're worried a little worried about it but it's really going to bring in something new for you 
Okay, something that's going to make you very happy. Could be a new love with this soulmate card. Could be a new job opportunity. All right, so uh, stop thinking the old ways. Think of, uh, you know, like open your mind a little bit. Keep an open mind. All right, to new possibilities. You are manifesting your dreams. So you are going to uh, be happy in the long run. So the surprise for me feels like there's this sudden change with this lightning bolt. I feel like there's going to be a sudden split of some sort. And you're going to have to learn a new way of doing things. But it's And it's going to take uh, a little bit of hard work. But it's going to pay off in the long run. Especially if the hard work is, you know, focusing on the little things. You know, when you focus on little things, like it, it, the job, the tasks at hand don't seem so grand and so unachievable when you just fix one thing at a time. All right, let me pull you some charms. All right, you got my seashell. Sometimes that indicates just the beach, but for now it's, it's representing knowledge. So again, follow your intuition, trust your inner guidance when it comes to making some decisions right now. You're, you're going to know what to do, right? Because you are definitely going in the right direction and there is happiness waiting for you. Like you will have a reason to smile. Now we did get Cupid. So, you know, maybe there is a new love for you coming in. I don't know, but we got Cupid. We have a heart and we have a heart that says best friends so um, maybe you're going to marry your best friend with that four of wands alright uh, luck is on your side and you have some abundance here with the pumpkin lots of abundance coming in you have angels your angels are here loving you supporting you and guiding you and a gift from the universe. So if whatever this split might be, this loss, I don't think it's really all that detrimental to you because I think it's cleansing you or cleansing the way for something brand new to come in. All right, pile two, that is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, pile three. If you chose incredible, then this one is your reading. Um, dogs barking, sorry. They're just annoying today. Anyway, here we go. We have eight of wands. Ace of Cups, the Empress, Eight of Cups, Four of Cups. Well, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. It feels like there's something brand new, some kind of new love coming in for you that is something that is going to make you very excited. Um, it's going to come in pretty quickly with the Eight of Wands. That's pretty fast moving energy. So I feel like it's coming in. When I say surprise right around the corner, I really do feel like it's right around the corner. It's here. It's coming in. I do feel like it's love. It doesn't have to be romantic love, but for a lot of you, I think that it is. Uh, this is somebody who's going to, you're going to want to like, love and nurture and grow like it's a, a relationship you're going to want to grow and prosper in and it's it's a beautiful energy it really is but it may require you to say goodbye to something else or someone else eight of cups is here and you're walking away from something something that you're bored with something that hasn't been satisfying so, like I said, this does not have to be a romantic relationship here that you're saying goodbye to. It could be a job. It could be like you're walking away from a job that's unfulfilling. And because you're getting a, a beautiful new offer here, something that you're going to love doing. 
So I kind of hope it's the second scenario <laughs> and that you don't have to walk away from a relationship. But, you know, all relationships aren't meant to work out forever. They're just not. We came here to learn lessons. So, all right, let's get some more cards for you. It's so funny because you, you hear their pitter-patter. They come, they come to get me, they come to knock on my door because I locked them out because they're so loud. Um, but then they run away because they're barking at something. Uh, there's probably like a deer in my backyard or something. Okay, here we go. Wedge, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Okay, well, it would make sense if that was a relationship, right? Um, uh, you you have this new love coming in that you really want, but you have to say goodbye to something, and that person could be putting a wedge into, you know, something that you want, something that you want to move forward with. Or it could be, you know, um, let's just say you get offered this brand new job, and it's something that you really want. But your boss comes back and says, we don't want you to leave. We're going to give you a, a dollar raise. Will you stay? And you're like, hell no, not for a dollar. <laughs> Maybe five. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But you, you know what I'm saying. You, you get the point of what I'm trying to say. There might be, I, I don't necessarily feel like that wedge is going to be a big deterrent. But it, it's going to cause a, a little bit of an issue. Because you might say, oh. Well, for, for an extra $5, maybe, maybe that's worth it. I don't know. Misunderstanding. All right, well, maybe you misunderstand a situation. Maybe, maybe whatever's coming, be, trying to come between you, it's not really they're coming, trying to come between you. Maybe they were just uh, giving you different perspective. I don't know. But you got a misunderstanding coming up. That could be a simple, something as simple as, oh, you thought a word said this when it really said something else. It, it could be very minute. Oh, let's get some more cards. Coming into power. I step into my power boldly and confidently. So they're saying they want you to be in control of your life. Do what feels right for you. Make your decisions based on what you want, not what somebody else is trying to do, right? Or what somebody else wants for you. It's, it's you saying, no, I'm going to do this for me. I'm not going to butcher this name. It's life force. Express your div your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. All right. So there you go. Somebody could be coming in to really light you up inside. You know, turn you on. Somebody could definitely be coming in for that. Um, express your driving passion. Yeah. Uh, and it could be a job that turns you on too. A job that's like, oh, this is what I've always wanted to do. This is so exciting. I will, you know, be so happy to get up every day and go to this job because this is what I want. This is what I've always wanted. So there's some kind of passion coming in for you. All right. Which is exciting. And don't let anybody try to talk you out of it. Yeah, I have one life to live in this lifetime. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I, you get more than one life, but um, it, just live your life to the fullest, right? That's what you're here to do is just to have the, the best experiences possible. So do what's, do what's right for you. You got the hammer. I don't like this card. Sabotage and rebuild. Persistent working on it. Repairing. 
I kind of feel like somebody's, this is, I kind of feel like somebody's going to try and sabotage this new opportunity for you. And, uh, they're going to try and like, like if this is a person that you're saying goodbye to, they're going to try and sabotage the new thing and they're going to try to work on rebuilding something with you. I, I, I don't know if that works. I mean, I guess it could, but and I, I need you to follow your passion, whatever that is. You know, I, 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 I I just need you to follow your passion. You got to do what's right for you. Like I said, live life to the fullest. This is your life. <clears throat> Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So something's going to be worth waiting for. Or something. The job could be worth waiting for. Alright. That means you're going to be really happy. It's going to be worth the wait. Lost spirit. Sometimes life stings. Hmm. That makes sense. <laughs> You know, like, sometimes we got to hurt people. S you know, uh, sometimes life does sting. But you got to do what's right for you. Again, they want you to follow your passion here. They want you to, you know, go after what you truly want. Even if it means hurting somebody. You're not doing it maliciously. You're doing it because something's not right for you anymore. And you got to follow what's right for you. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Three of keys, the chess game. You got to be strategic. Let's see. I don't think I like this card. I think this is like three swords. Heartache, but let's see. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is a card of conflict. Uh, this, though the sides seem to be clearly divided, many many of the people involved are already are out for themselves. Deceit may be present. And you may not be certain of everyone's motives. So it's time for you to take an emotional or actual step back. You know, don't participate in any battles. Don't And don't let yourself be deceived either. Look at things coolly and unemotionally, if you can. People are probably trying to serve their own agendas here. So try to detach from that. You know, and, and like I said, step out. Step out. Be the observer. You know, see things. Um, try to, you know, if you detach from the situation, you could... You could view the situation as an observer and really see things instead of being emotionally attached. Um, you got to do what's right for you. And like I said, somebody could be lying to you to, to get what they want from you. Right? You got somebody trying to put a wedge. And you get some kind of conflict here. Some kind of misunderstanding. So it does make sense. Again, do what's right for you. <clears throat> All right. You got divine guidance here. You do. And you will be successful. Right? You, your wishes will come true. Um, <laughs> you got the fox. So again, be sly like a fox. You know, really see things clearly. Know what you want to do. 
Trust your intuition with that elephant, right? You know, step into this new life of yours, this new power of yours. Do what's right for you. A miracle could be happening. And you could start seeing things a little differently here. You could have some kind of a light bulb moment where you really do see things. And uh, that can help you make your decision for you. All right. That's what I got for you, Pile 3. I hope it helped you in some way. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 4. You have Celebrate. So hopefully we're going to have something to celebrate, right? A nice surprise coming in. Uh, sorry about the dogs. They're, I don't know what they're barking at, but they're barking and they're making me nuts. I kind of think that there's like deer in my yard or something because they're making me crazy. But anyway, here we go. We have Six of Pentacles, The Judgment, Seven of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Oh, okay. All right, so this is all about a situation that, you know, somebody might have deceived you in some way, somebody might have lied to you, um, and you're, like, trying to figure out what to do now. All right, your, your judgment's saying you're taking a look at it, you're seeing what went wrong, how you, you could do things differently. But you really want to balance the scales now with the Six of Pentacles, or somebody wants to balance the scales with you. There's like um, some equal give and take here coming into play where they, they just want the scales balanced. I don't like that the Seven of Swords is the main focus of the reading here with the right being in the middle. But this is what surprise is coming in. I think the surprise is that you're actually going to make a decision that is actually going to work out for you. You're going to make a decision on how to deal with this person, or how to overcome a situation, or maybe you're going to just make up with this person. Uh, you're going to bring it back into balance, back into alignment. But whatever the surprise is, like, it's, it's going to be beneficial to you. You have the Wheel of Fortune. That's good fortune coming your way. So I do, in a sense, feel good about this. I, I, I don't like the Seven of Swords energy, but um, that could just be you having to make strategic moves here on how to um, get a second chance right? It doesn't have to be somebody who lied or cheated. It could be you strategizing on how to um, make this second chance work for you. Or just you deciding that you want a second chance. But you know, the Six of Pentacles is a charity card. So it is a very positive card. And so is the Wheel of Fortune. So I do definitely feel like things are going to work out for you. Whatever you decide. So let's get some more cards and maybe the story will become a little bit clearer. You should accept valid criticism, the cup, and honor and respect will come to you. All right. So if you can admit your faults or your wrongs or your part in a certain situation, then I think honor and respect is going to come to you. I think that uh, if you're going to criticize anybody else, you got to be open to being criticized yourself. So you can't go into a situation of being accusatory and not ha not expecting that person to come back at you and say, well, you know, I may have done that, but you did this. There's always, there's always something, right? There's always some kind of justification. Um, there's always cause and effect. Always cause and effect. So it's like, do you want to live in the cause or do you want to live in the effect? 
You know, I, my choice would be to live in the cause where you are taking control of your life and making things happen the way that you want them to happen. If you're living in the effect, then that means you're, you're allowing other people to dictate your life for you. So, uh, you know, I think that if you are, if this is some kind of an apology or some kind of a do over here, um, just be open to hear the other person's side, the other person's point of view, whether you agree with it or not, you don't have to agree with it, but sometimes people just need to be heard. Sorry. Mending bridges. Look at that. I'm on to something here, aren't I? (laughs) I heal rifts. I am a mender. They want you to heal the rift. They do. They want you to, they want you, they want you to come back into alignment with whatever situation this is, whether it's with somebody or, you know, could be like a, a job situation or something, but they, they want you to fix things. And that that card is basically saying that you have the ability to do so. And it takes a strong person to be able to mend a riff. Not a weak person. Not, you know, sometimes people think saying I'm sorry is is a sign of weakness. And it's the exact opposite. Do you know how much strength it takes to say I'm sorry? To want to fix something? It takes a lot of strength. Lord Shiva, transcendence, rise up, honor your inner force, steps are being given, dance with the universe. So Lord Shiva is here to help you make amends, to mend the bridge, to transcend something, right? So embrace that. He's giving you the strength that you need to to fix whatever needs to be fixed. Harnessed his energy. It's pretty powerful. It's pretty amazing. The sword and the rose. <laughs> it reminds me of this. Equal give and take. Like a balancing act between the sword and the rose. You know, yin yangs. Leather and lace. Clarity and truth. Revelations. Honor and protection, determination. All right, so you're going to be determined to mend this bridge. Maybe some revelation came to you. Maybe some clarity and truth came to light. Something that that, that you should honor and respect. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Balance the soft and the, and the hard. You know, this, your, balance your sharp edges with the, with the soft and gentleness that uh, you need to be sometimes. So it's a balance card. Six of Pentacles is a balance card. Two of Pentacles is a balance card. They want you to bring things back into balance, back into alignment. Children, your love life is being affected by children. All right, well, you know what? I, I, I understand that uh, parents put their kids first. I, I put my kids first, so I get it. But a child should not dictate your life. You got to live your life for you. Now, if your children are young, you, of course, you have to make decisions that are for their best interest because they're young and they, they, um, you know, they, they depend on you. Okay. But if your children are older, don't let them dictate your life. No matter how much you love them and care about them, they love and care about you too. 
and but they have their own life to live and you have yours so you have to live your life okay you have to live your life for you your children will be okay because they they um you know they chose their own journey so you can't you know live for them and they can't live for you simple as that let me get you some more cards Buffalo Spirit, the abundant universe will provide. Okay, so, um, it's basically saying you're going to, you're going to have what you want. The universe is going to provide it for you. The Buffalo Spirit's coming in to, to make your dreams come true. What, what is it that you want from this situation? They're going to make it happen. You have Lord Shiva helping to transform something. And now you have the buffalo saying, we're going to give it to you. But you, you, you got to do something here. You got to make the move. What do you? What is it that you want? You can have it. All right, let's get uh, an Akashic Record talk card here. Caught in the ruins. That's about a fear of your own making, right? Getting caught in that thing where you could easily just climb out. There's no roof. There's no roof. You could climb out or, you know, find a way out of that prison that you're making, you're holding yourself in. It's a fear of your own making, a prison of your own making. Let's see. Yeah, this is about a difficult situation that has you trapped. Maybe an empty relationship or an unhappy, unfulfilling job. You know, you might have a sabotaging belief system right now. It feels like it's held you captive for some time. There's a way out, though. There always has been. It may take a little bit of effort and determination on your part. There's that determination, right? Courage and and strength are required right now to change something. You got to change whether it's a faulty belief system or a sabotaging choice in life. Don't let the ruins of your past ruin your future. So you, you have the ability to climb out. So climb out now. Okay? Climb out. Don't let anything hold you back anymore. You got to live. You got to enjoy life as best you can. So go after what you want. Don't let nothing stop you, even if it's kids. <laughs> you'll figure it out. You'll, you'll find a way to balance it. You have all these balance cards. You'll, you'll figure it out. I promise you. Let me pull you some charms. You got to keep it here, so you might want want to go, uh, you know, make amends with somebody. That's for sure. And again, luck is on your side. But something really does need to change. Like, it, it's time. It's taken a while, but it's time. Look, you got a balance charm. How about that? <laughs> you got the chakra stone. Everything's coming into an alignment. There's love here, so... You got love. Uh, you got a flip-flop, so maybe a trip is in order. Maybe if it's just a trip to clear your head. I don't know, but you got my music adapter too, so maybe music will help you find the answers that you seek as well. All right, Pile for it. that is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.